I'm Charmaine Ortiz. I'm a painter and a video artist. I work across different media because I believe that not all subjects can be fully investigated with only a single point of reference, you know, the two-dimensional point of reference, typically with painting. And for me, video has kind of captured my interest because it's able to deconstruct subjects in the fourth dimension and, you know, there's a consideration to time as an element and duration, you know, and sometimes these things kind of get lost with painting, which, you know, feels like it exists in this single point in time. And video is kind of able to reclaim this idea of this, the duration of a process. And I started off as a painter and a printmaker. Um, doing both mediums, layering moment upon moment in silk screens and in paintings and projections. I started taking photographs, double exposures, and piecing together pictures. Um, I went to graduate school for that and then moved into video immediately because I was trying to put more time into the photograph. That's what's so exciting to me about video art is it's, it is how we see the world around us. It's moving. It, to me it's a moving painting. I wanted to show how our perception was a form of recording, how we perceive things in nature, how we perceive landscapes, and in a sense as we're looking at it we're drawing it in our minds and for me whenever I see a landscape or a bottle of bleach or anything I can in my mind, I can kind of see and feel how I would draw it, and this video for me was a way to kind of show that. I paired the sounds of the the sounds of these lines that I was seeing in the landscape with the video, so that in a way you were kind of hearing how these drawing sounds would be as you're seeing the actual lines themselves, whether it be the cross hatching or the actual kind of swirling, kind of twining of the wire, and you know I actually directly linked those you know, the, the line itself with the sound that is actually used to create that particular type of line. I don't experience time the way that a photograph captures it, but I experience time the way video can potentially capture it. I feel like my video pieces are narratives of one moment while things are happening simultaneously. So I use layering to capture the way that we see and perceive situations that we're in because we have peripheral vision. All of our senses are working at once and I think video has the most potential to capture what it feels like to be standing in a moment. There are aspects of film that are considered to be glitches like the scratches, the grain, and some of the things that are really unique to the media itself and what's interesting is that in um, in video and whenever they digitally restore old films they say that okay we're gonna make it 100 percent flicker free and it's this kind of idea that they're perfecting it and they're making it better and through the use of these video processes where they you know they re-photograph and they re-scan you know the individual frames and everything and they put it back together and it's really kind of strange because these are these things that um, they consider to be glitches and that they're negative kind of attributes when really they're really the positive things or the process marks of the media itself and they're so unique to that particular media and um, it's interesting because video is actually trying to reclaim some of these things that they initially thought were you know ugly marks or whatever but they're really unique and they bring something more to the viewing you know the viewing surface and to the the making of a moving image the things that make art good, like the compositional elements and color theory and space and light and knowing how to draw, they they work with video as well and it like puts it at that higher level I feel, or it can, it has the potential to like make the discussion about video art more interesting where it doesn't just have to be a discussion about video art in relation to cinema but it can be video art in relation to fine art, traditional fine art mediums like sculpture, drawing, and painting. And I believe that sometimes people have a hard time sitting still and watching these things with video because, you know, the way that it's composed, it's with, you know, pixels and video is just so high definition, it's very crisp, it's very rigid, and it's so, it's become so commercial and, and we see it all the time and it almost feels 
so much like what they see every day on TV and they're just waiting for this 1-800 buy me now type thing to come up on the screen and um, it's almost like they don't trust it or you know it's so it's so foreign. I'm trying to bring video art to a level that people can relate to and it doesn't have to be this medium that's so different than painting or sculpture or other mediums that people are more comfortable with because they've been around longer historically. I've noticed in um, you know my, my video programs that there are a lot of effects that they have to mimic these you know these process type marks that are naturally kind of occur in film like dust flecks and grain and that kind of thing. And I just think it's kind of interesting because you know video is in a sense trying to perfect those mistakes and remove them but yet they can't completely get away from them because I feel like audiences still really enjoy seeing those things and there again it's just it's part of the process, it's part of the mark, it's this handmade quality that I think that you know people are just naturally drawn to and it's just it's beautiful.